So in today's video, we are going to be looking at the Windows NTFS file permissions. In my test server here, I have a share folder called data, which is pointing to my system disk here in a folder called data, which is right here. And then users are going to access it by typing in the name of the VM, SST VM01 backslash we're going to hit enter here and then you will find the share folder here we're going to quickly take a look at the settings here so the share permissions that i have so i have the everyone group who has read and change so read just means that they're able to get access to the folder change means that well self-explanatory they can make changes to the folder such as create or um put objects in there as well. And then full control just means that, well, they can fully control the folder. They can delete anything that they want, etc. So that is usually it. So the everyone group is just means that everyone who can basically access the share will have the appropriate permission. So that is the share permission side. Next, we're gonna move over to the security. And this is where the bulk of the permissions are handled. So you can think of the share permission side as just the general door that people can walk into. So you can think of this as a house. You have your front, you have your front door where people can just go in through the front door. I would hope that you don't have everybody coming into your front door, but in this case, you basically have everyone or this group here or this group of people that comes through the front door to your house and then you can think of the security side as other little rooms in your house that people can get access to but they need a key and that key is are are these different users here so we'll go through uh, a list here so as you can see i have two users sst admin this is the one that has full control modify etc and then we have the user one who has modify, read and execute, etc. So let's go ahead now. Um, so for the purposes of this video, I am logged in as the SST admin on this particular test VM here, and I will have full access to everything. Now on my other window here, I just switched my screen. You will see that I have access to, or I'm logged in as user one. So this is where I'm going to be doing my testing from. I'll, I'll be switching back and forth between the two different windows, but you'll get a good idea. So let's go ahead and start modifying some access here for user one. So we're going to go ahead and click on the edit button here. We are going to select user one. And then for this video, we are going to uncheck the modify and the write permission. So now we have three. We have read and execute. So user one is going to only be able to uh, look at the contents of the folder and execute mean that he can run any scripts if he chooses. List of folder contents just means that he can see all the different subfolders in there. And obviously read just means that he can see the contents again of that folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply here. <clears throat> and then we are going to go ahead and do a quick test. So. So now we see here user one just has these three controls. So I am listed as SST admin. So what I'm going to do is go on over to File Explorer. I'm going to browse to that location. I'm going to go into the data folder. I'm going to say test one. And let's go ahead and create a text document saying this is a test. So that is it. And then we are just going to put a, another file in here. This is a test two. Okay. So now that we have that all set up <clears throat> on that, on that share folder, we're now going to go over here to the screen or the different window to where I'm logged in as user one. Now, most users are going to access the share through the name of the virtual machine to where you have the share folder set up. So it's SSTVM01. 
and then we're going to hit enter and then there is the data folder that we are looking for so we're going to go ahead and double click in here and as you can see uh, we are able to browse the contents of that subfolder test one and we're able to open up this document as well now remember here that we only had read, execute, and read permissions, which means now if we come over here to write, or if we come over here to try to write a folder, we get this nice little message telling us that access has denied because we don't have permissions to go ahead and create anything else in here. The fun thing as well is we shouldn't have access to delete any of the folders or any of the files. Let's see, let's go ahead, keep, hitting try again and you see here we don't have permission to delete any of the files which is very good now we are going to go ahead and change that now I've switched back over as you see here I'm logged back in as the admin and then we are going to go ahead and change the permissions for user one to give him more permissions to where he can do more damage so we're going to go ahead we're going to select user one we're going to go ahead to edit and now we are going to give him modify access so modify just means that he is going to be or user one in this case is going to be able to i believe create different files and such if i'm not mistaken as well as the right so they both kind of work hand in hand so the modify and the right will now allow user one to go ahead and delete files as well as create additional files and folders so let's go ahead and hit apply hit ok let's just double check now and we see that user one has more permissions now so now this is where the fun part is so let's switch back over as you can see here back in user one now, what if I go ahead and try to delete this file like I did previously? Will I be able to do it? The answer is yes. I'm going to permanently delete this and now the folder is gone. So you see, user one has been granted more access and now he can come in here and do more damage. He can delete more files. He can also come in here and create other stuff as well, like create other files. Let's just say, ha ha ha, your files are gone and just like that he was able to delete everything and you know replace any sort of file so you'll definitely have to be careful with the uh with the different um permissions here but this gives you a very good idea and you know some good examples of the differences between the read write uh, sorry the read read execute and the read permissions i believe it was let me just double check here quickly so if i go back to properties go over to security user let's go ahead and edit let's select user one so yes we have the read and execute the list folder contents and the read like we did for the first example to show that things were pretty locked down so enabling just those three allowed user one to be able to see the contents of the different folder and subfolders and the files and also not be able to delete anything in there so if you are actually going to be trying to do that or set up your environment that those are the three that you'll want to choose if you want to go ahead and give the user more access to where they're able to add additional files, subfolders, um, and potentially delete the contents of that share folder as well. You would give them the modify, which is right here, the modify and the write permissions as well. Full control in this case, um, I guess like for the most use case, like 95, 98% of um, the controls you're gonna be um, done in these you don't necessarily need full control um, so that is my two cents on on that aspect so hope you found this video helpful I hope you like the different examples the different analogies with the front door and the different rooms and how you can lock them down 
and I uh, hope you found this video helpful. I will be making some more of these tutorial videos. Please let me know if you find them useful. If there's anything that you're confused about, if you had any questions, go ahead and put those in the comments below. This is Sean Sims Tech signing off for the night and I will be back again to make some more educational videos to help solve your technical problems. Signing off. Bye.